Hey guys, and welcome to the second lesson of editing Captain Tsubasa 2 for NES. In the last lesson, we discussed how to edit Tsubasa's drive shot, and we uh, modified things such as the, uh, the background, that blue background that he appears in. We made it wider, and we changed the sound that we hear, uh, as well as uh, the duration of how long we see Tsubasa before he kicks the ball. And we also uh, added his picture a second time uh, for a split second right before he kicks the ball. You see his picture pop up again. So in today's lesson, we're going to continue working uh, on the background. We're just going to modify. I'll show you how to modify the color of the background because we didn't cover that the last time. And then we're going to deal with uh, something different, which is um, the path of the ball. So there's two components or two parts to each shot. One is before the player kicks the ball. That's known as the background. And the second is after he kicks the ball. Uh, this is uh, all about the ball, you know, the way the ball flies towards the goal. Okay, so uh, let's go into where we were. Uh, I strongly urge you and recommend that you watch the first lesson before you attempt to watch this one because some things are sequentially and logically tied to the first lesson. So we put our codes here for Tsubasa's uh, drive shot for the background. Okay. So in order to change the uh, color, right now the way it is, you can't really change uh, the color. You need to make some minor modifications. So uh, in order to change the color, uh, we need to have an F7. So all we have here is an F9. Well, I know here we have an F7, but not like that. We need it like set up differently. Okay, so the way uh, we need our F7 is it needs to be before the duration of the background. So where was the duration of the background? It was right here, that 28. And remember I told you the higher this is, if you made it uh, uh, the highest possible would be an EF, uh, the longest possible would be an EF. 99 is still pretty long, but EF, is longer okay so the default is 28 which is why you see him that's really like short that's why you only see him for half a second before he kicks the ball okay so we need to be before before this f9 which is right next to the uh the duration here's the duration and this f9 is sort of like the beginning of the instruction or the function so we need to be before that f9 we're going to put our F7. Now this uh, here, this is Tsubasa's picture right here. So somewhere between the F9 of the duration and Tsubasa's picture. So we need to be like right here, you know, in these codes. We have to modify these codes. Okay, so the way to do this is we need to have an F7. And the next one after the F7 will be our color. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, the default is probably either 0, 2, or 15. We'll test it. And then we have to get rid of this uh, slot altogether. We can't just, like, make this an FF. We can't do that. So what we need to do is we need to take these codes and back them up by one. So we paste them right there. We make this last one here FF. So it goes F7, 0, 2, F9, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's test out this color. I'm pretty sure that's the default. Yeah, it's the default. So if I change this to a zero D, watch what happens. So I put zero D here. a red color okay so this is where you can have some fun with this you can explore and play around so if I put a 23 here it'll be a flashing color like that so uh, yeah you play around with this okay and I think this 
pretty much will cover it for the uh, the background. You already know how to make it wider. You already know how to add Tsubasa's picture a second time before he kicks the ball. And the, you know how to change the sound. Remember this uh, 16 here is the sound that you hear. We changed that last time. And you know how to change the duration and you know how to change the color. So uh, the 8E is the animation. Um, this is an advanced lesson, uh, you know, like, uh, because there's an equation to calculate, like, you know, which, where this goes and how we ended up with this 8E. And this is concerned with the way that Subasa looks in the background. You can see him, you know, his image, like basically this right here. So you can see this is like him getting ready for a shot. So this is a different animation than, say, for example, when he's dribbling the ball. That's a different kind of animation. So it's basically the drawing, you know, like that you see here. Okay. Uh, uh, one other thing I can show you about the background is we can reverse the direction. Uh, so because now it appears as though he's playing for the opponent team because he's shooting in this direction. He should really be shooting... Because he's moving, you know, our players are moving from left to right, not from right to left. So he should really be shooting in this direction. So to change this, uh, you know, you can uh, just uh, go to the top of the codes, the beginning here at this F3. And I'm pretty sure this actually may fail because I need to make a small modification. We can't use those codes like that, but let's try it anyway. Anytime you want to reverse the direction, you use an F6. And then you put your codes. Let's test this. It may it may crash. Don't worry, we'll fix it if it does. Because I can't recall, I can't remember if uh, I've used it with F3 before. Yeah, I, I knew it was going to crash. Okay, so this is what the codes need to look like. We had to rework them a little bit. We couldn't use the F6 with the F3 that was there before. So they need to look like this. Uh, and the F6 is responsible for switching or reversing the direction. So uh, let's, um, uh, again, okay, this one here is for the color of the background. Right now it's red. And uh, this is for the sound. Let's uh, try, uh, maybe we'll do another, uh, a different kind of uh, sound, like uh, 6B is a different kind of sound. And also, this is the animation of Tsubasa while he's, uh, you know, with his foot up in the air getting ready to shoot. If I change this to like a C7, we'll see the ball spinning as if it was the, uh, the cyclone shot. And this here is for the width of the background. So we're making all these changes all at once. We switch direction, change the width of the background, change the animation change the uh, sound, change the duration, change the color, and we added Tsubasa's image, uh, you know, one more time before he kicks the ball. And we'll even take it a step further and change the sound. Whenever you see like F9 and a number and a third number, that third one here is responsible for the sound. So uh, the one where he kicks the ball this is the animation, the 8C of him kicking the ball. So the whatever F9 before it would be the sound. So uh, this 13 is uh, when his foot hits the ball. So if we change this to like 0E, it'll give it a stronger sound. So let's put them all uh, into a test together. And this will be like your modified background, you know, like uh, the component of the shot before he kicks the ball. And then we'll jump into the path of the ball. So there you have it. That's a, a minor modification, but still kind of cool. Like if you've been wondering like, oh, you know, how do people modify this game or how do they hack it? Uh, I have a, a video, a separate video about the, uh, the hacking tool, the Chinese hacking tool.
which has been partially translated to English, but uh, you can't accomplish these things like the, the shot modifications through that. that. That thing is like, it's really helpful, but it's more or less for, you know, like editing, assigning different music to different teams, changing their uniform colors, uh, switching players between teams, and uh, the you know the the color of the skies, the clouds, uh, etc. Maybe uh, yeah, you know you can also give edit your stats uh, from that. So things like that. But uh, to get really creative with the moves and the fancy and flashy uh, ball paths and things like that, you know you need to do it yourself on the back end. You know because the the hack tool is just like a GUI. It's like a front end uh, user friendly GUI which basically does the same thing, you know, like if you know the hex codes to modify, you can just do them yourself. And, you know, that's exactly what the hack tool is doing. It's modifying the hex codes. So uh, now we can just jump into the path real quick. Uh, 21F0E was the path. So let's see what we have available here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and start from here, 3FD60. So this will be a 50 FD that, that I have to put here, 50 FD. This makes it a 3 FD 60, if you recall the calculation. Uh, so this right here should be our, so this 21 F0E, as I said, includes this FBB4, very similarly to how we calculated it before remember the uh when it was uh up here 21 d 0 c uh it was for c a b the a became a 22 the uh b remained the same the c remained the same and the four was plus one so it became 22 b 5 c okay so uh you know we switched around the 22 b and the 5 c okay this is uh, why I say it's important to watch the first lesson. I'm not, I'm not going to, uh, you know, like linger too much on this calculation because I covered it thoroughly in depth in the first lesson. So go back and watch that if you haven't completely gotten it. Okay, now very similarly down here for the 21F0B, what do we have in it? Uh, by default, uh, if I undo my changes, by default, it's FBB4. So the way we do this is this B now becomes a 23, the A becomes a 22, the B 23, C 24, so on, so forth. And the four here gets a plus one, so it'll be a five. This F gets a plus one, so it will be a zero. And the B remains the same. This, this B right here remains the same. Where did I get this zero from? Uh, in, in hex, uh, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, zero. So uh, going from left to right, uh, this is all like plus one, you know, like the uh, basically like the seven is higher than a six. The A is higher than a nine. The D is higher than a C, etc. So the zero is an F plus one. It's higher than than an F. So when we did a plus one to the F, it became a zero. Then we switched the two, three, five with the zero B, it becomes two, three, five, zero B. This is your full location. This is the offset where all the codes, the full codes for the path of the ball are located. So there they are between uh, two FBs as usual. So this is, this marks the end of it, FB, and this FB here marks the end of a another path. Okay, so the one we want for Tsubasa uh, is right here. These are the, the codes for him. Uh, if I make a modification such as maybe make this an 85 and make this an 11, you'll see, uh, yeah, we didn't, if we're making such a minor modification and we're not uh, consuming extra spaces we're not pushing anything out of the way then you can just override it uh you can overwrite uh, uh like right here you don't need to move it to an empty spot you know so let's do that take a look at what happens
have. All right, so uh, this should keep you busy for quite a while. You know, you can mess around with this instead of an 11, see what you can come up with here. Use, use uh, like a combination of letters and numbers. Same with this, uh, where was it? Uh, this 85, you know, don't mess with these like the 5D, BB and FA. These are like integral uh, parts, uh, you know, like essential parts of the instruction or the function. It's like just part of the program. You can't really screw with them. All right. So I hope you guys have found this helpful. Again, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.